Hey everyone, uh, Eric here with another review for Handheld Portable Month, and this time we're going to be taking a look at a Sony PSP game. We'll be taking a look at Capcom Classics Collection Reloaded for the Sony PSP. Uh, this was released in 2006, and it's a compilation of uh, 19 really rad Capcom arcade games. It's got uh, 1942 on here, 1943, 1943 Kai, Commando, Echo Fighters, X-Xs, what else is on here? Ghosts and Goblins, Ghouls and Ghosts, Super Ghouls and Ghosts, uh, The King of Dragons, Knights of the Round, I gotta keep looking at the list because it's too many games. Uh, Mercs, we've got Pirate Ship Higamaru, which I've never actually played. Uh, Sun Sun, three different versions of Street Fighter II. You've got World Warrior, uh, Championship Edition, and then uh, Turbo Hyper Fighting. And then you've also got Volgus, which I've never actually played. But definitely a really awesome compilation of some just awesome Capcom Classic games. Let's take a look at it. So here it is, Capcom Classics Collection Reloaded for the Sony PSP. And I uh, love the cover art here. We got tons of classic Capcom characters here. Zangief all the way in the background there. You got Ryu from Street Fighter 2. You got the dude, I forget what his name is, but the dude from Ghosts and Goblins in his underwear. All kinds of classic Capcom stuff, but I was recently looking at the back of this. I had never read the back before. Listen to this. Play any game any which way. Be anything from a king to a gunfighting wizard kicker. Joust all out as a knight of the roundhouse table breakers or fly the unfriendly skies of World War II on your way to kick some cans in Street Fighter II. What the shit kind of word salad is this? Like, that doesn't make any sense. I, I never really looked at that before, so that that's funny. I, I never noticed that before. I'm going to have to start looking at the backs of more of my games to see if there's nonsense on the back like that. But anyways, the uh, here's what the game looks like. This is a, if you're not familiar, a Sony PSP uh, UMD, Universal Media Disc. So that's the game. And then, yay, we've got an instruction booklet. This was released in 2006, but they still put instruction booklets in games back then, so that's cool. Definitely cool. Let's pop this thing in here. Now I'm going to leave all of the load times in because that is one of the negative things that I do want to point out about this game is some of the load times are a little bit ridiculous. All right, Capcom Classics Reloaded. And let's play 1943. Let's take a look at that first. And you can see what I mean here. The load times are a little bit long. But once the game gets going, it's definitely worth it. See, now this is a cool option you have in this game. Um, you can have various uh, screen orientations when playing it. So you can play it with the screen oriented like this. Uh, you can center it. You can do it this way. And there's also this way, which now this is kind of more along the lines of the way the game was when it came out. The screen was vertically oriented on 1943. So um, any of the games that originally had a vertically oriented screen that are on this compilation, you can change the screen orientation in all those different ways to kind of match how best you want to play it. Now again, up and down like this is the most accurate way and this matches the screen orientation, but it, for me it's a little awkward to hold the PSP like this and play it. So. Uh, I normally play the games like this. Let's start the game. You can see it's pretty arcade accurate. Um, I always do that, I always push the wrong button. There we go, there's shoot. It's 1943, the arcade game, and it's tons of fun. This is a great game. I know on this compilation, this is one of the best games on it already. And we're just looking at the first game.
I always like this spread gun. Let's take a look at a different game. Now here you'll see it's going to ask me to turn the PSP because it's going to give me a breakdown of stats from this play. And what these are is it's showing me how many coins I've earned. And the coins can be used in a slot machine mini game that I'll show you all later on on the main menu. And you use that to unlock the extra artwork and all the unlockables and stuff. So kind of cool. You get a breakdown like this after you play uh, any game on here. Now this again here is the negative. Watch how long this takes to go from exiting one game to get back to the menu to pick another game. This is a little bit ridiculous, this load time. This is one of the few drawbacks of the Sony PSP. Is some games do have um, a little bit long load times because it's an optical disc media. Now a cool feature the PSP has is that you can plug it into a TV uh, through some special AV cable. So we're going to capture the rest of the footage doing that. And here we have uh, Ghouls and Ghosts, and it is uh, a little bit of a smaller resolution, so it does show up letterbox like that on the TV, but it's, it's not a big deal. Um, otherwise, the game does look and play great. Now, this is another one of my all-time favorite uh, Capcom arcade games, and this is a great port of it. Uh, it looks and sounds great. It's fun to play, but it is brutally hard, though. Now next up we have Commando, which is a classic uh, shoot 'em up arcade game. But this is another one that is brutally hard, and this is actually not one of my favorite uh, Capcom arcade games. The one hit kill thing kind of kills it for me. So I, I don't get into this one too much. This is a good port of the game though, and this is another one of those games where you can change the screen. I, uh, as far as shoot 'em ups go, prefer this game, Mercs. This is a badass game. It is kind of a spiritual sequel to uh, Commando. But I mean, look, look at all these dudes that have to just show up with you and, and help you off the helicopter. You're clearly a badass if you need a bunch of dudes to deploy out to help you get off a helicopter. Now in this game, you have an energy bar, which is nice. So it's, you don't die in one hit, which I like much better. And you've got destructible environments, uh, great music, power-ups, tons of enemies to shoot, all kinds of stuff going on. This is just a great arcade game. This is one of my all-time favorite arcade games. Um, definitely a quarter sucker though, even though you do have an energy gauge, um, it does go quick and you'll see that. I used to play the crap out of this game when I was a kid in, uh, at a Peter Piper Pizza in Mesa, Arizona. So shout out to anybody from Mesa who remembers Peter Piper Pizza growing up, because I spent a lot of quarters there on this. You get to fight a freaking Harrier, look at that, that's awesome, taking on a Harrier with a machine gun. Definitely an awesome game, and definitely a reason to get this compilation. Now's probably a good time to talk about that slot mini game I talked about earlier. So those coins that you earn for playing the games, this is where you spend them, on the slot game. And this is actually even a cool slot game, this is like Vegas with multiple pay lines and stuff. And uh, winning here unlocks the artwork and music, etc. for you. And, you know, with those uh, AV cables that I mentioned earlier, you can actually use that to record some of the arcade music, which is kind of cool. Next, let's take a look at Gunsmoke. Now, this is a game that I never played the arcade version of until I got this compilation on the PSP. I had only played the NES game as a kid, I used to rent the crap out of it and I really enjoyed it, so playing this arcade version for the first time has really been a treat. It really is a great shooter and the multiple uh, shooting buttons that allow you to shoot in different directions really add a lot of depth to it. And I do enjoy the western theme too, outside of Sunset Riders I can't think of a lot of uh, good shoot em ups that are western themed. I'm definitely going to have fun learning how to get good at this game. Now let's take a look at the King of Dragons. 
This is a really good beat-em-up, and there are a few good beat-em-ups on this compilation. This is one that I also used to play as a kid. I, I used to play it at a bowling alley, believe it or not. And I used to pump tons of quarters into this one as well. Is it just me, or does that sound like Hank Hill? He's going, oh! Sounds like Hank Hill, I just noticed that while recording this. This is a great, great game. And this is actually one of the games that has the game sharing feature, so you can play this with other people that have a PSP, but not necessarily the game, and play this uh, up to three players, which is fun. Here's another game that I never played until I got this compilation, and it's a shooter called Echo Fighters. This is a horizontal spaceship type shooter game with way too much dialogue at the beginning. I just want to fly my ship around and shoot stuff, come on. Should be called Echo Terrorists, those just seem like regular construction workers to me. All kidding aside though, this is a fun shooter. I'm kind of sad that I never got to play this when I was a kid either. But I definitely will be playing more of it. That mini boss looks like something out of the Darius series or Darius, however you say that. Firing your charge shot is really satisfying in this game as well. You definitely have a sense of impact. Now, unfortunately, I don't have time to show you all the games in this compilation. Like I mentioned earlier, there's 19 games. It's a lot of games, and I just I can't show them all in one review. So I'm going to leave you here with Ghosts and Goblins, which is another game that is one of my all-time favorite Capcom arcade games. And I used to play this at Circle K, of all places, back when they used to have arcade games at convenience stores. So I would definitely recommend picking this up if you're collecting for the PSP, and if you're not collecting for the PSP, you should be because of compilations like this. Anyways, uh, thanks for watching, and take care. Hey, thanks for watching my review. If you got a few minutes, you can click on the uh, thumbnails there to check out some of my other videos. I've got two of my recent video game reviews there, and I've also got a link to my new series, The Game Shack, where I review really cool retro Radio Shack toys and games. Also, uh, don't forget to hit those like and subscribe buttons, that's important. And uh, don't forget to check out my links to the social media crap there. And as always, thanks again for watching.